everyone is in the market to buy your product or your service right now, but they might be down the line. So how can you continue to nurture them? Welcome to the Kelly Bloomberg Podcast. I'm your host, business mentor, personal brand and style expert. On a personal mission to inspire a minimum of five people daily to take action in doing something different or just showing up as that person that they aspire to be on their best days. So if you're one of my five, then let me know. Drop me a review or come and say hi on my Instagram. I would really love to meet you. So in today's episode, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to answer a question that I was recently asked by Arabian Business, which is a leading business resource here in the Middle East. And that question was, does having a personal brand make you more successful? Now, this does entirely depend on your meaning of success because, and that's a much deeper question in itself, you know, success to someone can be you know, raising a family of three children. Success can be for someone maybe just getting out of bed and accomplishing, you know, a couple of daily tasks. So success can mean so much for other people. What do I mean in in this context is really, does having a personal brand make you more successful? Let's just say in the traditional sense of maybe career progression, maybe wealth, maybe through the entrepreneurial journey. So that's kind of where we're going down to answer that question. And the answer is, in my experience, yes. And I say this because I know this through experience, whether you're an employee or an entrepreneur, we all have a presence. You know, so we're all unique and it really is up to you to create the real impression of who you are and how you want to be perceived. So we all have a personal brand It's just some maximize it more than others. Now, now more than ever, I really do believe that people want to engage with people on a much more personal and even professional level, but with those that appear more authentic. And honestly, the easiest way to do this is by leveraging on your personal brand. And it's the fastest way to do it. You know, I do hear a lot from people that I work with or when I'm just starting out, they go, well, who would want to listen to me or what have I got to share? And I don't have anything valuable to add. But I remember reading this quote and it was, never forget what is obvious to you can be amazing to others. So maybe you've lived with some way that you do something that's so obvious to you, but to someone else, it's like, oh, that is amazing. That's a great hack or wow, that's a great piece of information. So never forget that. So let's take entrepreneurs. And when it comes to them enhancing their personal brand, it absolutely uh, maximizes opportunities. You know, when your personal brand is clear and on point, customers, clients, vendors, press, even companies looking to hire will find you much easier and be able to reach out because you're more visible. I remember a personal example of this a number of years ago. I was back at an awards ceremony in London. And pre the award ceremony, there was a networking opportunity for all those that were nominated, which was incredible. And it was in an amazing location. And I remember at the time being introduced to this woman who explained what she did. And she said that she was um, head of HR and, and went into a little bit more detail. So when I explained what it was that I did, I was really clear as to how what I did could help her in the it in related into her business world. And you wouldn't believe it, transferring out of that. A couple of weeks later, when I was back in Dubai, I got a call from the HR director who was from Arsenal Football Club. And she said to me, Kelly, we'd love to fly you back to London and host a style and personal brand presentation for a hundred of our VIP hosts and hostesses that come on match days, but look after all our VVIPs and VIPs. Amazing. So because I was so clear about what it was and who I helped and, and how I could help her, then that resulted in an amazing opportunity to one, fly somewhere else and and speak on a topic that I'm so passionate about, but also to educate and and serve others. So you just never know when you are so clear where that opportunity might lead you. But by establishing a clear personal brand, 
it honestly helps grow your business. And, and it not just that was a personal ex- experience from my journey, but I've worked with uh, recently Catherine Broad and her personal brand. And she's worked with coming up with getting clarity on who it is she helps and what it is she does. And she is now the venue matchmaker. So she clearly identifies with finding the perfect venue for a client. And that client could be corporate, that client could be an individual person, but the messaging is so clear. And when she had the clarity on this and we started putting out the messaging, her business inquiries doubled within a matter of weeks, not only down to more visibility, but she was just so clear in her messaging. So how could you open up more opportunities by having absolute clarity in what it is and who it is that you actually help or what is it your personal brand is on a mission to do. You know, people buy from people. When was the last time that you bought something that maybe, let's face it, you didn't really need, but you loved the story or you loved what it represented or you just like how it made you feel? So therefore, the more time you invest in your personal brand, it'll allow you to build relationships with the people you enjoy working with, 110%, know this from personal experience, and they might not become clients straight away, but you can start to nurture, serve, and educate your audience. You know, and if, if you're not convinced yet, but here's more evidence, having a personal brand makes you more memorable to your audience. So if you're in the market of doing something that someone else does, then there is a high chance that you could have a similar message. You know, and nowadays it's really hard to create something, invent something so, so, so new. The invention tends to be your way of doing something. But by having a personal brand, it will help you stand out from your competition, but also increase the opportunity of referrals from friends or fellow entrepreneurs. Because they'll remember what you do and how you help them and and how you made them feel. So you want to be that memorable because not everyone is in the market to buy your product or your service right now, but they might be down the line. So how can you continue to nurture them? What if you don't want your own business? So can it still help you fast track your career you know, over your colleagues, you know, what if you're not in the the world of of, um, building your own business and and you work for someone else? Well, my answer to you for this is absolutely yes, it can help you build your, your career. And the job market is so much more competitive than ever now. And showing, you know, your capabilities over another candidate will elevate your job prospects. So having a personal brand within an organization will give you visibility in your industry. And at some point when it comes to maybe looking for another job, it will lead to a better offer. You know, not only that, when when you develop your personal brand, you're seen as a thought leader in your industry. So you might be familiar with um, Sheryl Sandberg or maybe Beth Comstock. Now, she was the CMO and vice chair of innovation at GE. And both of those incredible women have leveraged from their have leveraged their personal brands after roles within the organization. And like they've written books and they've they've shared and continue to empower others with the experiences with the roles that they had. I also read a really cool story about a well-known rapper. So well known I didn't actually know about him. But if you're in within this scene, I'm sure you would. And he was looking for an intern. And instead of submitting a traditional CV, this recent college graduate designed a website and replied to the rapper's Twitter post. And and it was really quite cool. He put, maybe I'm extra, he said, but I think resumes, or I think it's American, CVs are old fashioned. I built a website instead. And he created a hashtag. Now this was back in sort of, I think around 2017, which I thought was brilliant. And he bought a domain name and launched a one-page website, Chance um, Hire Hospi. And he presented himself and showcased his skills. Do you think he got the job? Yes, of course he did. And he documented the year that he interned with this rapper on that. And it was just another 
profile opportunity, not only for him, but the rapper as well, having someone else broadcast his daily moves. In the brand new impact course that I've created, I do actually share exactly what needs to go into a one page website, if that's what you want to have, or if you want to have a three or four page website to make that really smart first impression, then I share exactly what to include in that. Because let's face it, there's no escaping. We all have personal brands. And if there is nothing found online about you, it can also go the other way with employers thinking, hmm, what are they hiding? Or what have they not achieved that they say they've achieved on their CV? So personal branding isn't going anywhere. So my suggestion to you is if you haven't made a start on it, start today, start making your digital footprint more visible. And if you want to elevate your personal brand, I have created a seven week online course. And this is designed for those that want to learn more about what are the steps you need to do to create that personal brand and make an impact. It's the exact roadmap that I used over the past 15 years and that clients use now and really just taking on personal experiences and taking what mistakes other people make so that you don't actually do them. Some of the topics that are included is personal branding goals. So how to identify what it is that you want to achieve with that digital footprint, the digital footprint in the next sort of 30 days and how to reprogram your mindset to actually get those goals. Discover what your brand you story is, because we all have one. How do you identify with them? And other modules include how to develop your collaterals. What kind of photography do you need for your website or media kit or social media? And what is the formula for elevating your authenticity? What happens when you come to that elevator pitch? A checklist for what you need to include in your awesome looking website and key points to include in a lead magnet. What do you need to do when it comes to your digital platform? So four ways to elevate your Instagram brand you, how to transform your LinkedIn, and a really simple trick to connecting with a larger audience on LinkedIn. So these are just some of the modules that are included within the seven week brand you course. So if you want to know more about this, then head over to kellyloombergofficial.com. Until the next episode, it was great sharing this experience with you. Does having a personal brand make you more successful? The answer is yes. Bye for now.